So tonight, it's Pete Dunn versus Johnny Gargano versus Kyle O'Reilly. The winner of this gets a title shot at In Your House in two weeks. That shows right around the corner. I was very sad to hear that. And we open, in fact, with Pete Dunn versus Johnny Gargano versus Kyle O'Reilly. You know, I have to say that this was, as Vinny just noted, a three-way to determine a number one contender for a takeover that is airing in a week and a half. When they announced that this was the opener, I knew I would be fucked. <laughs> Something bad was going to happen. I knew I would be fucked, and I was. Yes. So, the first half of this match, the pre-commercial segment, there's more grappling than I may have seen in any three-way match ever. A lot of holes going on in this three-way match, including one point, Pete Dunne had both of his opponents down, had them like in a double Fujiwara armbar, basically, and was doing small joint manipulation on both of them, and yet they could not break free. I found that hokey. They go to commercial. The second half of this, it was the same three-way we saw in TNA. It was PD and Alex and Saban all over again. One billion moves, one billion miles an hour. And the thing is, I watched this show Thursday, Thursday afternoon, so I knew what happened here, and so I didn't care. <laughs> and so in the end, the finish was Adam Cole just comes out, starts hitting dudes with chairs, brain buster on the floor. I will say this, the the actual action in the run-in was at least as good as all the action in the match. I will say that when I was when I was a youngster and uh which I'm not now, we do some the we do these shows in like uh Shelton, Washington. Remember those shows sure, in Shelton? Absolutely. For like a dozen people. Yeah, and uh there's like a dozen people there, but it was gonna be like me and Jack Evans. And I was like, motherfucker, I'm going to do a dragon suplex in this match. Sure, yes. And this guy's going to do a phoenix splash and all this other crazy shit. Yeah. And the 45-year-old me would be like, what the fuck would we do that for? And I'm watching these guys here, and it was clear watching it that uh, they may be grizzled vets, but they're still young guys. Because if I had to fucking do this match, and they go, you got 20 minutes, and some bloke's going to run in with a chair and just beat y'all up, and it's going to be a no contest... Why the fuck would you bother? I don't know. And quite frankly, I mean, they didn't bother that much. I mean, it was a good match, but it was like a good match because you can't put Pete Dunne, Johnny Gargano, and yes. Kyle O'Reilly in a match yes. and not have it, at the very worst, be a very good match. But this was not a TakeOver caliber match. If this no. had been on TakeOver and they were going to do a clean finish and the one guy was going to become a champion, it would have been much better. But they still worked pretty fucking hard for a match that they were just wasting their time doing. They were three-quarter assing it. Yes. Which for these three guys is better than 90% of the people giving it 150%. Yeah. So Cole runs out with a chair, hits everyone with a chair, brain busters on the floor, last shot in the ring and all this. And uh, Wade Barrett is screaming there are no DQs in a three-way. So we get a no contest. <laughs> well, which it wasn't a DQ. I suppose technically is not a disqualification. The match just ends. You go to commercial. We come back, Adam Cole is still there, he still won't leave, Regal's in his face, they're screaming at each other, the security trying to throw Adam Cole out. As he's getting pushed out, Ember Moon storms down to the ring, passes them, goes on down to the ring, because I guess there's no format, anyone can do whatever, whatever they want. So Ember calls out Gonzalez, <laughs> not Raquel, Gonzalez. And uh, she th says, "What you think, you think what you did to Shotzi was funny, come on out here and face me. So Raquel comes out, and we get back-to-back pull-aparts. Yeah. These same people who were just pulling apart Adam Cole and everyone, they come running back out to, to separate uh, Raquel and Ember. And then, as they're distracted by Raquel, something else has to happen. Shotzi hits the ring from behind, lays Raquel out. Or, excuse me, not Shotzi. Dakota hits the ring in a very distracting outfit and uh, lays Ember out. And then finally, Dakota... And Raquel leave together. And I watch this show every week. I take detailed notes. And so much happened. I'm still having difficulty here a few hours later trying to keep track of who was who. Well, you know what I think it is? is You know the old analogy of, of uh, if you, let's say that there's a uh, basketball game. And it's like a really great basketball game. And a fight suddenly breaks out in the stands. Everyone will stop watching the basketball game to watch dudes fighting, right? Pretty much, yes. Whereas if there's like a great fight with people you know and some blokes in the crowd start playing basketball, no one's going to pay any attention. So my point here is that I believe what happened here is they knew that they were fucking you, 
by going 20 minutes and then doing a no contest. And so their idea was, instead of just going to another segment, we will have someone rush to the ring, and then we will have a wild fight, which will distract you from being fucked. From the other wild fight. Yes. That doesn't work that way, though. Well, I know, but the, the first wild fight was a result of you getting fucked by a DQ. The second wild fight was to distract you from what happened in the first wild fight. Well, that may have been their intent, and I can see on paper that might be a theory, but what actually happened was one wild fight just blended into the next wild fight, and it was very hard to distinguish the two. That is uh, correct, yes. All of this happened when it was done, finally, the show was a half hour old. And it was 10 minutes of entrances, 10 minutes of great wrestling, and 10 minutes of fighting. <laughs> Here we are. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.